Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Ice on ASMR, uh, with Michael and Misha. We are currently here Hello. in Minecraft in sort of the middle of nowhere. We were recording some video and Michael's audio didn't record, so we, uh, have either lost a bunch of audio or it has been, um, salvaged from what I've recorded. Uh, I'm not really sure at this point, but we uh, are sort of in the midst of exploring here. And we have octopi coming awfully close to land over here. They want to meet us. Hello, friendly octopi. We await your takeover. <laughs> um, I believe we're looking for some jungle at the moment. And uh, whether this is the beginning of a new conversation or the continuation of the old, just in case it's the latter, I will phrase it in a way that's slightly different. I'll phrase it in the way that the movie version, at least, of John Dies at the End phrases it. Okay. Um, so imagine <laughs> that you have, uh, and I'll, um, I'll, I'll try to make it simpler than they make it. Imagine that you have killed a man with a hatchet and it comes back as a zombie and when you kill it with the hatchet as a zombie you break the haft of the axe you have to go take the axe in and get the haft replaced and then he comes back as a zombie again and you have to murder him again and this time when you're cleaning the hatchet afterwards uh, a nick occurs in the blade of the hatchet so you have to go and replace the blade of the hatchet, making up fun stories to the uh, guy at the hardware store every time. The zombie comes back a third time, and now he can speak, and he yells, There be the hatchet that slay me. Is he right? I, I like the explanation of, the, uh, of what the question is, and the question is, of course, is it the same hatchet uh, when it's had all of its uh, solid materials replaced. Um, the uh, We referred to it in an earlier conversation about the, uh, the Theseus problem, I think, uh, where, you know, uh, ship the, of Theseus, ship, yeah. ship of Theseus problem. Um, but it's also a, uh, I mean, it's depending on you know the extent you take it to it's it's also an it, it's a recurring um it's relevant to humanity as well i don't know how accurate it is but i've heard that uh human beings replace their like every cell within the human being within the human being is replaced every seven years so every mm -hmm. seven years none of you is the same cell that was there before uh, which is, I mean, it's sort of the same question, isn't it? Are you the same being if you're f if physically all of your cells have replaced themselves? Right, right. Plus, um, I, I think this was a big thing uh, for the lost generation after World War One. You know, so many people with fake body parts um, uh, tapping into popular culture here. There's the the Star Wars question with Luke, right? I mean, or, or Vader, especially, you know, uh, um, after you replace so much, uh, does that make him lose touch with his humanity? Right. Um, and uh, my, my, at least about the, if we're talking about simple objects like a hatchet or a ship or uh, something like that, um, my th uh, one of one of the thoughts I had for it, I, I mentioned earlier, I've I've done some writing on this, some um, a little more in depth writing than I'll probably get into here. But um, the what what you're asking, if you're asking if something is the same object, is essentially not in my mind a logic problem, but simply a problem of definition. Um, for example, if you okay say there's a table and a table in a room and it's resting on the floor there is nothing there to define the table as separate from the floor until there's a human being in the room 
looking at the table and saying, this is a separate object from the floor. Without the human's assertion of definition, there is no difference or similarity between the objects at all. They exist simply as objects. And so to ask, like, if you've got a table and you apply a paint of coat to or a coat of paint to it and you paint it, you know, white or blue or something, asking if it's the same table, if you've changed its physical nature, the only... I disagree. The, okay, okay. <laughs> um... There, there's there's no definition without the human's input, so the human simply decides what definition they're going to use for same, because same is not an inherent reality. There's no such thing as same. There's what we choose to define as same and different. Do, do, do you disagree? Um... I <laughs> I don't know. I mean Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're going to drown. Yeah, my bad. Um <laughs> I don't I don't wow, that's okay. You really uh Oh, hey, I found something that's slightly different colored. Yay. Um I honestly don't know how I feel about I I used all of my um um uh, lights by the way back there in that other cave um i honestly don't know how i feel about that whole issue because in i mean just on a surface level right just on a surface gut feeling level i say it's it's different there is something obviously different about it. I mean, the table on the floor, that's a little, that's a little more difficult to, uh, to say that there's a difference there because, yeah, I mean, humans, uh, imply a, uh, a definition to it, though, of course, I'm like, well, of course the humans apply the definition. I mean, who else is painting the damn table, right? Um, but, um, uh, but with the, the ship of Theseus or with the, hatchet the thing is it is different in the sense that the parts aren't the same well right well but... that's that's the question is the physical is the uh is the fact of the sim the physical attributes being the exact same physical attributes is like does that change the identity of the object is what you're saying not you're not asking whether the object is changed because of course it's changed you're asking whether the identity of the objects is different and my question is does it make sense to even ask that question can objects have an identity that's not just defined by the person asking the question i would assume so since if if you and i were put in a room right and, and there were like 25 objects in that room and one of those objects was, I don't know, say a, a basketball. And we were given the criteria, find a round object. And, you know, whether there were other round objects or not, both of us are going to classify that basketball as being a round object, right? right? So, but you're talking about categorization. You're talking about classification and categorization that's not what you're asking with the ship of theseus and that's not what you're asking with the hatchet you're not asking do well, i categorize this hatchet differently you're saying is it the same hatchet right but in a sense it is categorization right i mean that's how because as i say on on one hand I, I feel the gut reaction to say, no, they're different because they have intrinsically different qualities. But then on the other hand, it's what what qualities matter, right? right. I mean, it's uh, because the, the ship of Theseus, although it is intrinsically different in many physical ways, both the original ship and the ship at the end 
if you're looking for the quality, if you're looking for the categorization of what carried Theseus and his crew, it's the same, right? Right, but that's, I mean, that's, you're taking into account so much more information than, than what is on the, you're, you're taking into account the entire history of the object and you're still, um, you you must necessarily still include a bunch of uh, separate interacting parts as part of the same unit, as part of the same ship, and like you're you're doing a whole bunch of uh, you're you're selecting some categories as applicable and some categories as not, and you're taking the narrative of the ship into question, and I. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think the the question well, makes that's... sense as like a fundamental question. It's it's simply a matter of how do you choose to determine identity? How do you choose to define the identity of an object? And then you answer your own question. Hmm. I I think it gets. I I mean. I wouldn't say there's any logic there. Um. Well, it, you seem really caught up on the fact that I said logic puzzle. It's a logic puzzle in the sense that logically, what's your answer? That's the way that it's a logic puzzle. It's not like, like you know, Bill is taller than the girl from Nantucket. And, well, no, that's what know, I'm saying, Mary though. You're not using logic to reach the conclusion. You're using definition and then application of your own definition. That's That's what I'm saying, like where... You've got like math logic puzzles, for instance. There's always going to be the same answer every time because you can't define the number one differently every time. But in in the problem that you're presenting, you can define identity in whatever way you choose, and then if you apply that identity rigorously, you'll achieve your own answer. It's a it's a self answering question. You've never seen me take a calculus test. <laughs> that is true. Um, I guess for me, uh, the problem becomes far more interesting if you think of, is my definition of justice the same as yours? Because there... Even if we both have a mutually agreed upon definition that we can work from, because we both have a mutually agreed upon definition of ship and hatchet or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. um, but with something, oh, that looks like a house. That's interesting. Yeah, there's a little village over here. Creepy. <laughs> um, uh, then, then it's like, um, is your justice the same as mine? And um, wow, that's I, weird. I would say that's a much more applicable question. Oh my god, there's a character here. Yeah. How is there a person there? Just a little inhabitant. I'm okay. Try to right click on one. I don't understand this game. Who are you, dude? Did, did you try right-clicking? No. Oh, I can just steal stuff from him? <laughs> no, you can you can trade and barter, or mostly just trade with him. So some of these guys, uh -huh. these guys, these are all librarians, and they're asking for paper. I didn't bring any mm. paper with me, but clearly I should have. Oh, this guy's asking for leather. I guess so. I'm really freaked out by this. <laughs> I find that amusing. Uh, we don't have any paper, but we have some uh, sugar cane over here that we can start growing into some paper if we want to come back. Oh, okay, so here's, here's something we need to figure out because I like finding little villages like this and I don't want to like lose it forever and never be able to find it again. So we've got to find mm -hmm. a way to mark our path like back home from here. Okay. Would you, if if that's I mean if that sounds like a good idea to you. I I'm terrified right now beyond belief. So. <laughs> okay. I uh oh oh 
come here freakish thing that's living in here. I, I don't think I've asked you over there what you want. Yeah, they just all want paper. You're just a librarian village. I am, I just, I don't understand how there are these other, I mean, I thought this game you just built things. Well, you do, and so do they. Are we playing the game, or is it playing us, Misha? <laughs> Um, do you have any ideas on how to mark this out? Um, how I've done it in the past is put, um, cobblestone towers with a torch on them, uh, with, um, like, within seeing distance of each other, like, each tower can see the next one and everything, and then just build, okay. like, that all the way home, is what I've done before. Okay. So, should we start heading home then? Uh, yeah, if you'd if you'd like to, I think that would be that would be a fun little uh, way to get home. Hold on, though, these guys need some doors for some of their buildings so that they can have children uh, and grow their population. So I'm gonna give them some the ability to reproduce. <laughs> okay. The more houses are in a village, the more villagers there can be. And at first they, I'm, I'm pretty sure they start out as children. I, I think I've seen villager children you. before. We bring you the gift of paper and reproduction. They all have these vaguely male voices, though, so I don't know how that works, but I think it's polite not to inquire. No, do they have voices? I'm actually not plugged in listening to my computer. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, they, they have... They, they make little noises. Hmm. Are they, like, Sims noises, or...? Um... I, uh... No, it's not like, uh, Sim speak, it's... It's, it's literally just little noises, like little, uh... There's a word for the type of noise it is, actually, that was recently brought to Polyglossia my attention. Polyglossia or something? I don't know. Pigeon? No, it's... it's not... it's not words, it's just, uh, like a... like a tone. Oh, like, I, I made this over here. Is that not oh. what you were going for? Well, it's not what I was going for. That works, too. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have two markers there. Oh, is this a sand temple? Can I go blow something up again? Where? where? Um, uh, hold on, I'll get back here where you can see me. Here? Um, I don't think so. I think it's just sandstone blocks leading into a cave. Uh, but this would be a good cave to explore sometime. They're all good caves to explore. And now we must cross the desert. Um, in the writing I've done about the, uh, the object identity problem. I posited that you, the one of the conceptual models you could look at it was of the uh, object's identity as being tied to its function. So, like, if you have a door in a house, if you replaced the door with another door, it would still be the same door because it serves the exact same function in the context of the house. Uh, and I elaborate right. on that a little bit, but that that's that sort of. I wouldn't say that's my position, but it's uh, probably the closest thing to it. Right. Well, that's like how I was trying to say with the whole, you know, the, it, it's the categorization of function, right? I mean, it is the ship that carried them. It is the hatchet that did this, even though it's not exactly how to... Oh, we didn't see this on the way up okay, here. Okay, here's crazy. another. Here's the temple. Um, if you want, I can show you how to get the loot from the temple without blowing it up. All 
All right, hold on. I'm just making a marker. It's kind of an onk symbol there. Um, and anyway, that's how it would have to work for the human body as well, because if our cells are not the same cells, but they serve the exact same function within our bodies, uh, if, if that's not the definition you use for sameness, then you must say that you are not the same being that you were seven years ago. Yeah, and that ties into a different topic that I think I will save for a different, uh... Um, talk because I think it branches out into something a lot bigger but um, I'd definitely be curious to see what you think about uh, some of that okay I'm, um, I'm just staying way the hell back and not touching anything here <laughs> okay so can you at least come in and look into the hole and remember to crouch if yeah. you don't want to fall off the edge um, I I just live life on the edge. Okay, okay. Do you see that the uh, gray square in the center there? Yeah. That's the pressure. Should I jump on it? That, no, that is the pressure plate <laughs> that will that will blow up the chest. I'm gonna jump on it. And do you see the chest down there? Those have that. Those have the loot that we want to get. So. I only have eyes for one chest, Misha. <laughs> oh. I'm is that the end of your clever clever insinuation that you're done? I was trying to stay PG and not go any further with it. Really? Um, maybe there will be uh, leather or paper in them. Oh, perhaps we can trade with the locals. Okay, so I'm going to break the... Okay, so I've broken the pressure block. So now, as far as I know, it can't tri trigger and blow up. just inviting me to jump down there kind of but you'll hurt yourself because it's pretty far I'm fine okay uh, let's see and here there's some gold <laughs> I got bones, bones. and rotten flesh oh, more gold here's a saddle here why don't you take that saddle that's in there why do you get all the cool stuff and I got I... bones and rotten flesh? Hey, have the gold. Yay. Did you get the saddle? Oh, here, I told you. Here, I'll uh, throw it to you. Oh, I thought you throw it. Oh. Nope. Yay. Now I can ride a pig, right? Yes. No, you dropped it. Here. Son of a, where is it? Yes, now you can ride a pig or or a horse. I don't it's it doesn't appear to be in my inventory. Well, I didn't pick it up. There it is. Okay, there there it is. All right. Okay. okay. Saddle problem solved. Okay, so that's the loot of the temple. We are thieves in the temple, Prince would say. Yeah. Desert by night. Um, we'll still want to make our little uh, waypoint. What do you, the viewer, think of the ship of oh, Theseus? Yes, please, please share your thoughts in the comments. I would be very interested. We're trying to talk about some of these topics to start a discussion and maybe even a bar fight, so... Yeah, hopefully. I mean, if everything goes well. I like dye and the way that fire makes everything look slightly different in the world. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I 
thing about the waypoint. I guess we really only need one marker if you just turn it, your like vision onto seven million blocks, right? Yeah, I do have my. I think I have my distance turned up as far as it'll go. Uh, oh no, I don't. Um, oh right, because when I when I tried that, it didn't render any further than it already was one rendering, and I couldn't figure out how. I've got my render distance set set to uh, 20 chunks, but it's still rendering at 12. Um, hmm. I'm not sure why. You can't handle more than 12 chunks. I, I totally can, though, because I got a new computer that can handle it, like, to... to... can handle it very well. I'm pretty sure there's an idiom in there somewhere that describes what I was looking for, but... <laughs> um, we should... I know one time after we had stopped recording, you started uh, watching everything in 3D, and yeah. uh, I, think, I think you should be doing that when we record, and then we get to hear you, like, having acid flashbacks, essentially. <laughs> I think we should wait until I get the Oculus, and then and then you can really mm -hmm. get some reaction shots. <laughs> it's gonna be like nonstop double rainbow. It's yeah, I'm gonna be freaking out. Like if I if I reacted to the 3D anaglyph, like that's gonna be nothing compared to what it's gonna be, and I'm excited. Is anaglyph a real word? Uh, I suppose it must be. It's used in the Minecraft menu, and they wouldn't just lie in a video game menu, would they? Probably not. <laughs> Your little avatar looks so funny when you do certain things. Like what? Like running, but looking backwards, and uh... Going up the stairs was pretty amusing as well. <laughs> Either you're just easily amused or you're just looking for ways to make fun of me. I'm not <laughs> looking for ways to make fun of you. Are you sure? Because, I mean, it would be okay if you if you were. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying you look funny when you run. I'm saying your avatar does. Oh, we yeah. found another temple. Yeah, they're just... Put it around the area here. It's, uh, yeah, it's I'm gonna go jump on the pressure plate. Yeah, you do that. Oh, hey, maybe I found a back door into the temple here. You would. Yeah. Well, I found something. Huh, that's interesting. I, I found a underground cavern that goes right up to the temple, but doesn't seem to actually go inside. Hmm. Did I just go in a circle? I think I did. Or I went back the way I had come. Hmm. But, yeah. Oh, oh I did you... not mean to do that. I was oh. getting the purple dye, and I fell. I see. It's okay because I knew you were just itching to do that from last time. You you resisted the urge to to fall down. I and... was, I, so, I knocked out the center purple square because I was curious to see what came out of it, and. It looked like purple dye, and so I just jumped. Well, here. And of course, I fell your, in the that, middle. That will be your treasure now. Blue stained clay. Well, that's cool, but I wish we could have. I wish I would have not fallen to get it. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Oh boy. My eyes are not dealing well with this. I'm just uh, gonna hang out and wait. Is it nighttime up there? No. <laughs> Why is it so dark? Oh, I. Well, I'll come save you. It might be my fault. Oh. There's some light, finally. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna. I who are you saying shush to? <laughs> oh, that that wasn't to you. That was to the viewers. Oh, uh, um. So I'm gonna try to get this red clay. I assume this is red clay since that other stuff was blue stained clay. Did you, where are you now? I'm outside the temple, I'm behind it. Okay. I got, that's enough clay. Um, do some breathing exercises. Oh, I'll get the clay from this onk. I just, I can't go jumping after dies anymore. <laughs> that was, I feel bad. Well, there, there okay. are other methods to get what you want. So we'll, mm. we'll just practice those. Maybe next time I'll just stick to the back door route. <laughs> sorts of caves along here. Oh, this seems like a tree that's not like what we've usually seen, right? Um, yeah, it's a, uh, I think it's acacia. I'm gonna grab some. I can still see you over there, so... We went a little farther from home than I thought. Well, we were on the ocean for quite some time. True. That was part of the audio that we lost from you, right? Possibly. We'll see if we can... Um, use some tape and ingenuity to get it all working again. That's what ice on Mar or that's what ASMR viewers really like, right? Is uh, scratchy, glitchy sounding audio. <laughs> yeah, something like that. the sea. I'm floating. It 
it's kind of sad that we can't like each have a compass point or whatever or we can't like cast the spell you know teleport here there's i can't remember what that DD spell is that basically gives you a waypoint hey here's our house we we didn't end up going on the ocean I'm not sure how that works. We took a we took a boat there and didn't have to take a boat back, but uh Wait, where's our house? I don't see it. Oh, maybe it's too far away. Come come over here. Oh now I see it. Yeah. You're chunkier than I am, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can see that. <laughs> Ridiculously large, uh, burning pyre from quite quite a ways away. I huh? was I was watching one of our videos though, and uh, in in the dark when it's raining, that that burning uh, that burning pillar looks looks really cool. Yeah, it looks uh, pretty intimidating. Even in the day, I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, well, we finally made it home. Uh, I think this is probably a good, a good chance to, yeah. to call it. Yeah, uh, I think that is a, a good idea. So, next time, either some uh, quiet building or some uh, paper retrieval. Right, yes. Okay, sounds good. All right. Until next time. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye.